Hello, I'm Josh Schmengi. And I'm Stan Schmengi. And, and we're the Happy Wanderers. <laughs> Once again, the Christmas season is upon us, and what a glorious time of year it is. Christmas is the time when the families get together to sing the Christmas songs and have some punch. Or Pepjik, as we call it in Latonia. Latonian Christmases are just as much fun, if not to some extent different. That's why tonight, Stan and I are going to show you the customs and traditions of a typical Latonian Christmas. Christmas Day with the Schmengi family. The Christmas morning starts off with a visit from my brother Yash, who comes to my house in the morning. He, he takes off the shoes and why? Because I'm the visitor. He is the visitor. The children get very excited when Uncle Yash comes over because... I got the egg! Oh, where's the egg, Uncle Yash? The children are saying... It's tradition in Lutonia for the Christmas visitor to bring an egg and hide it from the children to make it fun for them. Oh, uh, they do have fun looking oh, for no, the egg. They sure do. And of course the egg symbolizes the Christmas breakfast. Mm. Where the egg is cooked and wrapped in cabbage leaves. We call them chalupniks, and they're so good, I can't tell you. Mm. And the shell I take home and dispose of there. And there we are, Yash and myself, eating the chalupniks. Oh, they're good. Oh, delicious. Mmm, can be beat. Then there is the traditional looking at the tree. Stan always has the best tree, real flashy. Well, you know, the artificial tree originally came from Lutonia, where trees are now extinct. That's right, and now the whole world uses them. They sure do. Boy, that's a real flashy tree you got there, Stan. Thank you. And then, of course, they put in the hat on the tree ceremony, and the children get a big kick out of that. Oh, the children have so much fun at Christmas. Putting the hat on the tree is a custom that goes back for generations in Lutonian families. We did it when we were kids, Josh, and we never found out why. Nobody seems to know why, but we do it, and it's fun. Especially for the children. Who now must leave the room along with the women. For the traditional exchanging of the socks. On Christmas Day, the men exchange socks to commemorate the sharing of worldly possessions. And sometimes we forget to give them back. <laughs> <laughs> when we have too much peptic, we forget. <laughs> <laughs> and it's the traditional Schmengi walk, where we leave Stan's house and walk to Yash's house, who lives just up the street. It's a lovely house. A lovely street. And there I am removing the shoes because I'm the visitor this time. That's right. Then it's time for the presents. Oh. <laughs> this is always fun. And you got to be careful to make sure that you get the right one. Uh, <laughs> look at you. Yeah, I should open in the wrong one. I, oh, I got it all. <laughs> Boy, that's fun. And look at the fun we have. Like the mistletoe, the Christmas budgie is hung in the doorway. And watch what happens. Oh no, I got <laughs> caught under the budgie. And you know what that means? The it's the Melchik. <laughs> the named after Lutonian legend, Linnie Melchik, the keeper of the budgies. And then it's time for the Christmas dinner, where we all feast on the fine food that the women cook. And there it is. Look oh. at that cabbage roll. Oh, that must be 15 pounds. The bigger, the better on Christmas. Oh, boy, I love the cabbage oh, roll. Oh, so good. Oh, delicious. And of course, everyone gets some coffee. Cabbage rolls and coffee mm. can't be beat on Christmas. <laughs> And so that's how Stan and I spent Christmas Day in the Lutonian tradition. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed it. 
and also hope that your Christmas day brings you as much happiness with your family as we have with the Schmengis. So until next time, I'm Yash Schmengi and I'm Stan Schmengi. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas! And for you Lutonians, Christmas, you I wish you will. Christmas, you I wish you will. Christmas, pray you need my heart now.